the difference between wait and leave it. So they are different in that one allows frustration and anticipation to be built because the dog is going to eventually get something and the other one is intended to kill anticipation and kill frustration um, and meaning that the dog is never going to get it. So the two commands are wait, which is allows anticipation and allows frustration to build because the dog is eventually going to get it. And then there's leave it, which you're never going to get it. So just like get it out of your head. It's not for you. This is not something that you are going to one day get. You're never going to get it. So just like forget about it. And a really quick um, explanation between the two is you are training your dog to wait for permission to get their food. That would be an example of wait. Uh, or you throw a toy into the yard and you tell your dog to wait and then boom, go get it on my command. A leave it would be if you drop a pill on the ground and you don't want your dog to ever, ever get that pill because who knows what would happen if they consumed that ibuprofen or whatever. The cat next door, leave the cat alone. Uh, there's a dirty diaper on the floor, leave that alone. So that's the difference and I'm gonna show you how we're going to go about teaching that. Um, we are going to first teach the dog how to leave a pile of food alone and observe the food on the ground and then be fed from um, a third party to the dog. So that's how we're going to start this. So this is what you're going to do. This is going to be your, <clears throat> lay down. This is going to be your pile for, <laughs> okay. Have them. Lay down. Okay, this is going to be our pile of food that the dogs cannot get, okay? So this is the pile of food that's a distraction. That is not for the dogs. So your dog is going to, um, your dog is going to, boom, immediately go for it. And that's when you need to have quick hands and cover the food and don't let the dog um, get the food. Now my dogs, of course, already know this command, so they're not immediately just going for it. But your dog's going to, boom, go for it. So you need to have your hand ready because your dog's going to get it right? So cover the food. The second that your dog shows some like resistance, plop food in front of them from your treat pouch. Do not feed from this because you're defeating the purpose. We want to show our dog just because there's food in front of you doesn't mean you need it, right? So as soon as your dog shows some restraint, go ahead and feed the dog in front of you. Um, so again, never feed from this pile. So I don't want to take this and go like that um, because that defeats the purpose. And this is going to, would you stop eating this food? This is going to transition to bigger things. So this, this is like the cat or that uh, pill you dropped on the ground or whatever. Uh, so it's important that we respect the rules and we never treat from this because it's going to be confusing to the dog. So this would be the beginning stages. Don't worry about a command so much because the command again means absolutely nothing until your dog understands the behavior itself. So first put something on the ground. Your dog is going to boom, get it right. So cover it. If they're constantly going, like, I gotta get the food, take your hand and push, like, pop them in the mouth a little bit. You're not hitting them, you're just kind of pushing them away, like, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. And as soon as they, like, back off, boom, treat. And you don't have to really worry about saying good or white yes or anything, just because you need to focus on having quick hands to block this, and then quick hands for your food from your treat pouch. So that is the first part. So first work on that and then I will teach you how to introduce a command. When you're done with this, just pick it up and put it in your treat pouch. The dogs are not going to know that, oh, if mom reaches back in her treat pouch, like that was once the leave it pile, but now I'm eating it. Just don't take this and feed it. Take it and put it away. Freak. 